With the click of a button, you can turn your UI from looking like a complete mess to one of the cleanest and most functional interfaces ever for PvP. Want to learn how? Our brand new skill capped add-on will instantly configure every add-on you need for Arena and can give you the same UI we've been fine-tuning for the last six years. It includes weak auras custom made for solo shuffle for every class, advanced debuff tracking on nameplates customized for every spec, all of which can be instantly installed with a few mouse clicks. You can download our complete UI package right now from our website. The add-on will automatically enter setup mode when you log in, and you will be met with a checklist of every single add-on you want us to automatically configure. But listen up! Everyone who uses our add-on will be able to access any of the starter profiles. But for the premium profiles, you will need to be a member on skillcap.com, which are now included as a bonus perk alongside our thousands of PvP guides. Our premium profiles include a pre-configured Omni bar that is similar to the ones being used by pro players, a custom Omni CD for the most efficient cooldown tracking, and then a brand new nameplate profile that's been customized for every spec to help simplify information on your screen, but more on that later. And don't panic! If you want to revert back to your original UI later, you can do so with the click of a button. You can even choose to play with your own add-on configurations if you like by unchecking whatever you like on the setup screen. Anyway, once you're ready, just hit install and our add-on will begin setting things up. Then once you reload, you will automatically have everything configured for you, saving you hours of your time. And remember, if you want to skip all the guesswork and instantly get a UI that is fully optimized for PvP, all with the click of a button, be sure to use the special discount link in the description and sign up today. This is why there's never been a better time to be a Skillcap member, because with everything we offer, we guarantee you will climb rating. Anyway, say you don't want to use our add-on, let's show you how to get the best PvP UI one step at a time, starting with how you should configure your frames. While the quote-unquote modern layout is popular in PvE, it's not at all efficient in PvP. Notice how our party frames, player, target, and focus are spread all across the screen. This is definitely something you want to avoid. In Arena, most of the action will be taking place directly in front of you, which means everything needs to be squeezed in a bit so you can absorb information with a quick glance. First, let's drag our party frames closer to the bottom center of our screen. Then let's take the player frame and scale it up slightly. And we're going to place it in line with our party frames below, making sure to leave some space. We will do the same with our target frame, scaling it up and then aligning it with our player frame at the top. Finally, we will scale up our focus frame too, making sure this box is checked and then align it with our party frames. Now, for extra credit, we will move our debuffs slightly inwards, making sure they are slightly scaled up. And then we will press save. As a reminder, this is what we started with, and here's where we're at now. Notice how everything is focused here within our frame of view, while still leaving adequate space in the center of the screen. Now, we need some add-ons, so let's start with the absolute essentials. Do you know there is a better version of Gladius? That's right, hold off on installing it just yet from Curse. Skillcap contributor Bicmex created a custom version of Gladius, which includes more spells, a fixed DR tracker, and even an interrupt lockout timer. This is just one reason we prefer his Gladius over other popular alternatives like S Arena or Gladius EX. Once installed, type slash Gladius in-game to go into the Layout tab, and then paste the Bicmex layout import string that's linked on the CurseForge download page of the add-on. Click accept and then import. Make sure you type slash reload UI after doing this and everything should work. Type slash Gladius test three to see how it looks. With Gladius installed, the next step is to position it on your screen. Ideally, you should align it with your party frames on the left side of the screen. Once again, keeping it within your peripheral to check information at a quick glance. If you play healer, there is one additional setting you might want to enable, target frame. Go to the target bar tab and make sure the module is enabled. Then make sure the target health bar is disabled, but make sure to enable target class icon and then copy all the settings you see here. Finally, to make sure the class icon isn't overlapping with the health bar, disable this box and then adjust the health bar width until it fits into the frame. When everything is done, you will be able to clearly see who the enemy team is targeting just by checking Gladius. Next up, let's configure Omnibar, which is also included in our package. But be sure to give it a download if you aren't using it already. Right out of the box, Omnibar is missing a lot of its potential. The biggest mistake even some experienced players make is tracking way too much, having everything clumped together in a giant mess, making it harder to isolate a single cooldown. The workaround to this involves two steps. Step one is to actually create three separate bars, each dedicated to three different categories of cooldowns. 
one for interrupts, then a second cooldown bar for CC, which you should both place around your cast bar, and finally a third bar for major defenses, which you can technically put anywhere, but it makes the most sense putting it somewhere near your arena frames. Hold off on making a bar for offensive cooldowns, because we will get to that later. If you're a skill cap member, you can even use our pre-configured add-on profile, which has done all the work for you. By splitting things up, it will be easier to find exactly what you're looking for with a quick glance, instead of needing to sort through a massive clump of icons. This is another reason we prefer to use Gladius instead of other arena frame add-ons that use cooldown trackers. Even though it might seem like a two-for-one, it makes finding isolated information much more difficult. Anyway, once you've made each unique bar, the second step is to only track the most relevant cooldowns. If you want to keep your UI as clean as possible, you don't need to be tracking minor cooldowns like Nature's Vigil. The reason we said to hold off making a bar for offensive CDs is because you might get more value by doing so with weak auras. In the year 2024, 90% of players have this add-on installed, but some of them are making a big mistake. There is a tendency for players to go completely overboard with this add-on, tracking way more than they actually need, or even making fully custom UIs that are built entirely around this add-on. But this really isn't necessary for 99.9% .9 of players. Instead, focus on using weak auras for a few basic things. The best use for any role is to track enemy cooldowns, which you can do with our custom pack available on Wago. But if you don't like what we cooked up, Mez has his own popular weak aura package tailored for PvP. The advantage of tracking enemy cooldowns with weak auras is because you can assign custom sound alerts too, like air horns, kittens, or even this. Whatever you think will help you achieve peak gameplay. We know from different studies that audio reaction times are on average significantly faster, with some research indicating over a 50 millisecond difference between the two. So if you aren't playing with sound alerts by now, your gameplay might actually be lagging. For enemy cooldown tracking, we would suggest placing your weak auras somewhere in the top half of your screen. Most of the time you will be looking at this section of the screen anyway, so it only takes a quick glance to absorb information. Our package also includes key friendly buffs and debuffs currently affecting your character, which we suggest placing somewhere in the center of your screen. Of course, there are multiple quality of life weak auras you can add, but again, stick to the theme of less is more. If you are a DPS who plays solo shuffle only, you could benefit from the healer and CC weak aura that we showcased in a recent video. Then there are plenty of other spec specific weak auras that can be useful, but again, we must stress to not go overboard unless you have a really good reason to do so. At the end of the day, add-ons are just tools and they only get value if you actually use them. So if you install a weak aura thinking it's going to help you but never find yourself paying attention to it anyway, then don't be afraid to just throw it in the trash. You would be surprised at how much clutter you can remove by doing a simple audit of all your weak auras. Now at this point you might have wondered why we haven't mentioned any nameplate add-ons. The elephant in the room is that nameplate add-ons are the number one source of clutter for most UIs. Just look at this player here, where there are multiple overlapping nameplates crammed with debuffs. Our premium users can import a custom made profile for better blizz plates that cuts down on clutter, first by separating debuffs into two categories, customized in unique profiles for every spec. The bigger debuffs on the left include any important maintenance debuff, allowing you to easily maximize sustained DPS. Then on the right, we have smaller debuff icons, representing any damage amps that you need to pay specific attention to while bursting. Finally, on the top row, you can see an icon of any active defensives, allowing you to instantly swap if needed. Together, you can use this information to do more damage, which you already know by now is one of the fastest ways to seeing rating gains. Once again, this profile is only available for skill cap members, so you will need the import code from our website to pre-configure this add-on. Better Blizz Plates also has an incredible feature that's specifically tailored to solo shuffle healers, but can be equally valuable for DPS. By enabling the Party Pointer feature, you'll see a giant icon above friendly players to make it easier to track their positioning. DPS can even enable a healer icon above their healer to make it even easier to never lose sight of where their healer is. Now, in the past, we've recommended both big debuffs and buff overlay as add-ons that everyone should be using in 2024. Omniora's merges both of these game-breaking mods, a powerful and highly customizable add-on that gives you tons of sweet perks. Omniora's can work pretty well directly out of the box, showing your important buffs on the bottom right, active defensives in the center, and then any important debuffs on the left, including enlarged icons for CCs. Altogether, this is every healer's dream and is all part of one powerful add-on. DPS will want to take advantage of this too, as we've customized it with key improvements to the nameplate module, making it show important CCs and even big immunities as icons directly attached to enemy nameplates, making it the perfect complement to our better Blizz plates profile. And if you're an advanced player, you can even use this add-on to show your party's cast bars, which we've attached in a non-intrusive place on your screen. 
All right, guys, so far we've gone through the most important PvP add-ons in 2024 for nearly every player. Next up, we're going to cover some optional add-ons, which you might still want to consider if you truly want to climb. First up is Advanced Interface Options, which is surprisingly useful for arena combat. Over the years, many interface settings completely disappeared in-game. Definitely for good reasons, of course. Anyway, one of these settings was Custom Lag Tolerance, which allows you to queue your spells and bypass any lag between abilities. It works by essentially predicting what global you would press next, and then automatically using it for you within a small window. This window can be adjusted in advanced interface options, but we suggest setting your lag tolerance to your in-game MS plus 100. You can also use advanced interface options to avoid nameplate clutter from those damn demo warlock imps. I mean, look how awful this is. To fix this, simply go to the CVAR browser and then type show enemy, setting a value of one to pets, guardians, and totems only. The other two should be zero. And by doing so, your eyeballs will now have an easier time actually seeing the game against Demo Warlocks. Now, we're getting into advanced territory, but if you can manage to use the next two add-ons effectively, you will become a much smarter player. First up is Diminish, which is a simple add-on for tracking, you guessed it, diminishing returns. Tracking enemy DRs is never an issue since Gladius will be doing this for us anyway. Instead, the real value of this add-on comes from tracking DRs on yourself, which is something many high-rated players do. By knowing when you are vulnerable to CC, you can know the right moment to play more aggressive or predict an incoming setup from the enemy team. Because you really only care about your own DRs, you can disable diminishing returns for everyone else, including your teammates. Our final advanced add-on is Omni CD, which has become incredibly common in both high-rated PvP and Mythic Plus. In a game driven by solo content, being able to see your teammates' cooldowns can give you a big advantage, but once again, we have to be selective on what exactly we're tracking. Skillcap members can automatically get this add-on pre-configured as a premium perk, but we're going to teach you how to set it up anyway. Most players will benefit from defensive cooldown, interrupt, and CC tracking only, since this information is the most relevant for staying alive and setting up kills. Tracking offensive CDs can be overkill unless you have a really good reason to do so. Priest players might benefit from this in order to power infusion at the best moments, but the majority of players can simply skip offensives entirely. For minimal clutter, you should make it anchor to the left side of frames to keep more space open in the center of your screen, while preventing it from overlapping with your focus frame if you are using our UI layout. Of course, Omni CD adds a lot of additional information to track, especially with everything else going on in your screen, which is why we're considering Omni CD optional, better suited for more advanced players. Of course, there are plenty of other add-ons we've also included in our package. Some are big quality of life improvements, like frame sort if you use party macros. Others are simply learning tools like Details and Trophy GCD, which are completely separate from combat, designed to give you feedback after the arena has ended. Trophy GCD is most valuable for VOD reviews and should be placed in a non-intrusive part of your screen away from everything else, tracking your own globals, which will make it easier to analyze your gameplay. And speaking of which, if you are a Skillcap member, you can even get one free VOD review every month as part of your subscription. We've done over 100 VOD reviews so far, offering users personalized advice for hitting their rating goals. That's on top of the over 250 hours of PvP content that can only be found at Skillcap.com. Everything we offer is backed up by a rank of guarantee, where we promise you will gain at least 400 rating while using our service. So what are you waiting for? Get the rating you've always wanted by visiting the exclusive discount links below. Anyway guys, we want to thank you all for watching, see you soon.